Sometimes compromise is a good thing. Sometimes it's not. We're going to talk about the not part this time. Stay tuned. Good Monday afternoon. My name's Chris, and I thank you for tuning in to the podcast. And we're going to do a short two-part series about compromise. Sometimes in our life, we need to compromise. Sometimes in our lives, we don't need to compromise. Sometimes it's good to compromise with our friends and family on certain issues, but when it comes to matters of sin, when it comes to matters that affect our faith, compromise is never a good thing. We're going to be looking at some scriptures in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, and we're going to be starting at verse 21. And it's verses we're all familiar with, most of us, and it's things we've read over and over, but I want to take a look at them, okay? The first thing we're going to be talking about is murder. And as I was studying for this, I was looking through uh, the Holman Christian Standard Bible, which is one of the Bibles I use. I use three. I use the New American Standard. I use the Holman Christian Standard. And I use the New International Version. But the Holman Christian Standard on the text heading right before verse 21 said, Murder begins in the heart. And I thought that was apropos for our discussion today. But Jesus begins talking in verse 21, and he says, You have heard that it was, um, that it was said lo- to, uh, to people long ago, You shall not murder. And anyone who murders will be in danger of judgment. But I tell you, anyone who is angry with his brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to his brother or sister, Rekha, which was an Aramaic insult, uh, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says to his, anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fires of hell. And if we scroll down, scroll down, geez. If we go down and look at verse 27, where he talks about adultery, and he says, you have heard that it said you shall not commit adultery. Um, but I tell you, anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. The seeds of compromise in our lives start in our hearts. They start in our minds. They start with being mad at somebody who did us wrong or broke a promise or deserted us. I'm familiar with the last one. Nobody ever wakes up one day and decides to go have an affair on their spouse. There's a casting crown song called Slow Fade. And one of the lines in that song is, Families never crumble in a day. It's a slow fade. And that's where the seeds of compromise start. They start in our angry heart. In our angry mind. They start in our lustful heart. And in our lustful mind. And if they are left unchecked. They will grow. And they will germinate. And they will have an outcome. And you'll find yourself completely in the weeds, wondering how you get there, how you got there. And most of us really don't need to wonder that long, do we? I think most of us really know how we got there. But in case you don't, Jesus is telling us here in these verses in the fifth chapter of Matthew, murder, adultery, these things start in our hearts and if they are left unchecked if they are left to germinate and grow they will result in affairs they will result maybe not in physical murder but they will result in hatred they will result in hateful words and you can hurt somebody with words I mean one of the biggest lies that's ever been told is sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me 
there's probably not a person within the sound of my voice who cannot think of something someone said that hurt them that doesn't bring up pain even to this day. I know I certainly can. Being born with a, with a physical handicap, people call me cross-eyed and all sorts of things. And, you know, those things hurt and you carry it with you for the rest of your life. So what are we supposed to do? Well, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul tells us that we need to take every thought captive to make it obedient to Christ. So when we have thoughts, when we see a beautiful woman and we linger on that thought too long, we need to stop and repent right there. We need to squash that seed. We need to destroy it. When we find ourselves tempted to be angry at somebody, someone who has hurt us deeply, we need to squash that seed. We need to forgive them as quickly as possible. So those seeds don't have time to germinate. So they don't have time to take root because it's a lot harder to take down. Have you ever had to cut down a grapevine? I worked for a parks and recreation department and we had a grapevine that had grown up against a chain link fence and it was interwoven in that fence. It had been there for years. It took us four or five days to get that thing down. And then we had to start digging up the roots. It took us over a week to get that fence clear. And it even damaged the fence and part of the fence had to be replaced. It was a mess. It would have been a lot quicker and a lot more expedient when that grapevine started going, growing, if it had been taken care of. And so it is that, that our worldly desires, the things that cause us to compromise our faith, the things that cause us to compromise our walk and our love for Christ, if we take care of those, if we nip it in the bud, as Barney Fife used to say, nip it in the bud, if we do that, It'll be a lot easier. But if we don't, it gets woven throughout our lives. And it entangles everything just like that fence. And eventually, it'll take over that fence. And the fence will have to be replaced. And the damage will be very costly. So I urge you, whether it's a lustful thought, whether it's anger, whether it's bitterness, whether it's thoughts about stealing, whether it's thoughts of, that are prideful, whether it's thoughts that are arrogant, quash those thoughts immediately. Do what the Apostle Paul says. Take those thoughts and make them obedient to Christ. And then you don't have to deal with the mess. And it'll be a lot easier before that grapevine of sin gets entangled in the fence that is our lives. So the song of the week is going to be the Casting Crowns, Slow Fade. You can find it on YouTube. You probably have it on Pandora or Spotify. Slow Fade by Casting Crowns. Also, there is an email address that corresponds with the podcast that I have created in case you want to drop me a line. And it is called ISCT for It's Still Called Today, ISCT Podcast at gmail.com. That's ISCT Podcast at gmail.com. If this has blessed you in any way, let me know. I would love to hear from you. If you have any prayer requests, let me know. I will uh, I'll be glad to start praying for you. And remember, I'm not a pastor. I'm just a guy sitting in a pew right next to you who struggles. And I just want to be able to encourage people that when you walk into church and someone asks you if you're having a good day, you don't have to put on a facade. You can let them know, hey, I'm not having a good day. I'm struggling. That's what this entire podcast is all about is to encourage each other daily while it's still called today. Talk to you soon. Episode two is going to be the cost of compromise. Everybody, 
God bless. Have a wonderful day. 